how a company will come in and scrappily undercut and win like a government contract or a state contract for like cleaning offices or maintaining the park or handling toxic waste or something like that. Fassbender used that to grab all the German film money coming around like somebody unstoppable on Supermarket Sweep. He goes for our fancy hams. They're expensive and they'll build up a score real fast. Take a close look at Team 2. What do you think they're talking about? Here's a partial list of all the films he made in his 16-year career. To accomplish this manic level of filmmaking, Fassbender definitely ate his Wheaties and then he ate them with a lot of cocaine. So, as David Bowie's 10 minute and 15 second pop song, Station to Station, shows us all, cocaine does not give you the greatest of self-editing capabilities. Here is a courtesy list of what you could accomplish in the approximate same amount of time it takes to watch a Fassbender film. Here is what you could accomplish in what it takes to watch a Fassbender television multi-series. Of Fassbender's huge list of films, I have seen the following. This list is carefully curated by the how much can I effing stand method? So I watched these movies. We're talking about the golden age of get in your car, drive to pick up the DVD, pay for it with your debit card, put it in the DVD player, and then go through the menu. So I really paid attention. And all I can remember from The Bitter Tears of Petra Von Kant is two things. One, when she picks up the phone she's, and someone's calling, she screams, Von Kant. And two, a lot of times her body postures look like she's a gazelle that has got a broken limb. Marriage of Maria Braun, I just don't remember. I remember the ending because it is literally explosive. And that's about it. I don't Die kenne ich nicht. Saying these films are not transformative. Like many things that other uppity gay men get, I didn't get it. I wanted to, but I didn't get it. Ali Fear Eats the Soul stars his partner, El Hedi Bin Salam, whom he met in a bathhouse. And they had a relationship that went not well. Let's just say it involved driving someone undercover from France back to Germany to avoid the French police. Ich bin Putzfrau. Was ist denn? Habe ich nichts schlecht. Viele Gedanken im Kopf. Sprechen mit dir. Was soll man denn tun mit seiner Zeit? All die Jahre, all die Monate. Und dann ist alles so schnell zu Ende. Und hinterher, was ist gewesen? Mein Gott, ich. Nix weinen. Bitte. Warum weinen? Weil, weil ich so glücklich bin und weil ich solche Angst habe. Nix Angst. Angst, nix gut. Angst, essen Seele auf. Ich habe mich verliebt. Was? Ja, Christa. Ich habe mich verliebt. In einen Marokkaner, der 20 Jahre jünger ist als ich. Eher mehr. <lacht> du machst wirklich eigenartige Witze, Mama. Maybe this young immigrant in Germany, who doesn't have a lot of options, 
maybe really isn't in love with this woman who looks like the woman on the little drawing when you get cheap mother's cookies, which I don't eat. But if I had to, you know, you know what I mean. And there's this one scene where he's like showering, of course, fully naked because it's fast bender with his bodacious bod and she walks in and she goes oh you have a beautiful body Ali well duh so Fox and his friends and as one critic said to describe this film he doesn't have any stars Rainier Werner Fassbender who is naked in the movie a lot not something that's real memorable and he plays a Pathetic street hustler who wins the lottery and then is taken to the cleaners. Bedienen Sie sich ruhig. Ah, danke. Falls du die Kuchengabel vermisst, sie liegt links unter dem Teller. Unable to finish this film because it was so depressing. beginning of Fassbender's career, as I explained, he was the cleaning company owner that got the vacuum out himself. But towards the end of his career, Fassbender was on an internationally acclaimed level and built this set that looks exactly like the set for Sally Field's fictional soap opera in Soap Dish. Now, in this film, we have Brad Davis acting very badly, supposedly on purpose. What's so interesting about it for you? Gets you all excited, doesn't it? Maybe you'd like a little taste of it yourself. Why not, but it's nice. And then you have Jean Moreau, who is basically Gypsy Rose Lee on Quaaludes, and she's Madame Lysiane. He loves. Da -da -da. Da -da. And Madame Lysiane runs La Feria, the hottest brothel in this town of Brest, which is why all the sailors want to come there. Now, the sailors come here and they go to the brothel, but why do they want to go to the brothel? Because all they're doing is insinuating about how they're going to have sex with each other and talking graphically about gay sex all the time. I'm sure Nono enjoyed it just as much. He's a pretty hot number. And you're very pretty. I look just like the next guy. Bullshit. I can just see Nono now. He must have had a heart on the first moment he saw you. So to me, it seems like you're building a Laura Ashley in the middle of a monster trunk arena. And now that we have heard my description of Curel, let's hear Bright Lights Film Journal. The distance from the text is signaled almost immediately by the blatant artificiality of the setting. Rolf Zahetbar's highly theatrical and self-contained set is gloriously false and is bathed in the surrealistic, surrealistic go Honey, a said very gay filmmaker, not very articulate one. His German television production in 1973 world on a wire, which is Fassbender's only foray into science fiction, thank God. The locations are basically a upstairs in an office that looks like Mr. Carlson's office from WKRP if he started taking shrooms, and then downstairs where the big 70s computer engines are. Now, this film, to finalize, making sure that you know people sitting around talking and looking disturbed and then sometimes having sex with each other, is not a regular melodrama Fassbender film, but is rather sci-fi. He uses the more cowbell method. Fellas, you're going to want that cowbell on the track. Because whenever there's a scene that is meant to be sci-fi, 
or scary or otherworldly, what he does is he turns on a sound effect as the actor stares into space. And it sounds like when you're at your office building and there's a fire drill. Well, I guess